Hello, this is Gavin back on this channel. And last off, we did chapter 13. Now we're doing actually chapter 14. Last night on Earth. Uh oh, I think this is the chapter. If I'm not mistaken. My main is Albert Alistair, rookie the second. The man who built this place, the man who brought all of you here, is my father. Wait. What? So it's you. Did not see that coming. I kind of did. You, you have been lying to us? Great, I'm sorry, I, I never meant to hurt you. So, you're the boss man's son, and that's supposed to make us trust you? What's the deal? Did he plant you here? To spy on us? Is he with me in right now? No, for God's sake, I'm not a spy! Don't know. I think he sounds. Sus That's what spies do. That's like literally their basic job. I don't believe him. Damn right, Gavin. Don't buy the spy's lie. Sick one, bro. Not the time, Craig. Uh, look, Alistair. You can claim whatever you want, but if you lie to us once, why should we believe you now? How do we know you're not working for your father? Because I hate him! Come again? Don't you get it? I'm not here to help my father. I'm here to confront him. To tell that my little self-centered, egotistical prick exactly what I think of him. Hold on, hold on. Just for one uncle second. But I'm back. But, back to the story. This could be a ruse. I don't know, Jake. He sounds like he means it. I believe him. But, why, Alistair? Why do you hate your father so much? My whole life, all I ever wanted is his approval, his respect for him to look out at me with pride, to embrace me as his here. He was always gone on one business trip or another, always occupied with his resort or his research projects. My 10th birthday, he was in Tokyo or Kyoto. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm revealing his new fashion I oh, know his new vision powered bullet train. My high school graduation, he was um my skull into continent. He a a trans European trade agreement. And still I have 
I thought I could impress him if I just achieve enough. If I fall in his footsteps, he would finally recognize me for what I am. Worth. Alistair. He promised me that we would spend time together this summer. That he would show me the case of his business that he would consider considered bringing me in. He canceled it. He canceled, of course. He, as he is won't to do but that wasn't the worst part no the worst part is when I discovered that 10 students from my very cars would when we so like to take a trip to his price island while he was he there Wookie was here I sent him a furious letter and wool well, and behold, I got an email inviting me to come along after all perhaps he meant to make amends. Well, I wasn't going to make amends. I planned to confront my father to tell him how I truly felt to severe myself from this blasted family once and for all. I plan all that, but when he hit that storm, we hit the storm, and now I realize how foolish I was. My father is gone, for all I know. He and I'm stranded here where we'll, I'll probably die too and he'll never even know my true feelings. Alistair, that's so sad. I'm not gonna lie, that is sad. I don't need your pity, Gavin. Whoa, hey, G Gavin was just. I'm not some tragic new one. Look, begging for your sympathy because my father never loved me. I'm an accomplished school scholar, a scientist, and into. Gavin was just being symphonatic. I don't want sympathy. I want verification. I want my father. Alistair, I understand why you got yourself onto the trip. But why did he why do you lie to us after we landed? Why not tell us the truth? I didn't trust you. I thought if you knew who I was, you would want to bring me or use my connections. Then when the situation became clear, it was all it was too late. I already lied and thought if you found out the truth, we would assume I was involved. Gee, I wonder why. I wanted to tell you I did, but I. N not to interrupt the therapy session, but is anyone else seeing that? The Watchers! They're not hiding anymore. They're gearing up. Getting ready for war. My guess is the 
will strike at first light. I'm going to go back downstairs. Me too. Yeah, no point staying up here. You want to go downstairs into the restaurant where your friends have split off into various smaller groups. Let's start with R.A.J. and Zara. I really like R.A.J. It's gotta be strong, right? We can agree on that. Oh yeah, definitely a couple shots of hard wicker in there. I'm thinking Wim because Tropical Island? Nah, nah, you drink Wim when you're kicking back on the beach. If you're facing certain death, you gotta go with whiskey. True, but that doesn't pair as well. Luke, Luke and gotta have Luke. I can't pronounce that because you know the watches have blue skin. I was gonna ask that, so they're. Like, just the dude from Avatar. James Cameron. Still haven't seen the new one. Nah, those were white blue cat people. Those are white blue and green plant people. Which reminds me, should we put some RB in it? Like... Some mint, maybe? What are you two up to? Trying to make the perfect drink for the night. Something says that fun and friendship in face of likely death. That, that sounds awesome. You think so? Yeah, I mean, we got barricaded the. We have dedicated the doors and make some weapons done. Everything we can to protect ourselves. Why not have a drink for old time's sake, if nothing else? Exactly! This might be weird to say, but I really admire your optimism, you guys. Somehow... You managed to find ups an upside in some pretty dark solutions. Hey, he's the optimistic one. I just like drinking. When you guys figure out what you're drinking, I would love to try one. Alright, I stepped away from the bar. Now let's talk to Michelle and Craig. So, Michelle, you're smart, right? Compared to you, Craig, who isn't? I'm... I mean... I just mean... What do you think our odds are against the watches? I mean... I bet... I could take two, maybe three of them hand-to-hand, -hand, but... If... We've got swords... Or like... They're riding dinosaurs... Well, why would they be di riding dinosaurs? I don't know. It just seems like the kind of thing they do. Quick, quick. I have absolutely no idea what the odds are. I don't think anyone else does. I just know that I should help. Don't want to die here. I mean, none of us want to die. I know, but it would be just so unfair 
I had a whole life planned out and I'm not going to get to live any of it. I was going to graduate with honors, do a medical, wasn't in New York, become a world renowned meteorologist, and get married to, I mean, in, it doesn't matter, it's stupid, it can't all end here like this. Rochelle. Look, we have survived so far. We went out of Stabatee Tiger, fought a giant cat, waved a coin, waved a chamber of Marga Outsnort, the Officer Tory. Also, remember that time I saved everyone from falling off a cliff because I totally did that. We have faced death a dozen times since we got here and everything we beat it i don't know what's going to happen but i know what watches are going to try or what or what we are going to do but i believe in us yo not gonna lie gavin that was courting his ass that was a corny ass speech i mean yes it was corny and but and totally underground in reality but it was actually kind of nice well i try now we're gonna talk to ios and leia What do you think, Io is? Proved in attack forces of five watches. These barricade should data them for at last 30 at least 30 minutes. And if there are more than five, I can answer that question. But my positivity social and can act little suggestions, it might be better not to. Well, I do like a good challenge. Indeed. Jeez. Adversity in response. Well, to Pleasure is list as one of the dominant traits of your employee profile. I always, what else does it say about me? Oh, plenty. Excellent outdoor skills, upbeat, and encouraging attitude. Could you son sensitivity training there's more of courts but it's grammar classified and my current build is only clear for this bridge and roller good Leia oh you startled me is there something you wanted Oh, I'm gonna be more serious. Did you know that Alistair was Wookie's son? Well, yes, of course, but Mr. Wookie has always asked that we protect his family's privacy, and I felt like it was my duty not to expose Alistair. Okay, I get the mormonry, but like, even in this solution maybe our survival is more important than company policy 
a Wookiee's a Wookiee employee is always on the job. It's true. That's item 7 in the company handbook. I always... Do you know Alistair was Wookiee's son? I do not have his personal file currently, but my skin of his DNA did suggest it. How often do you scan DNA? Don't answer that. Is there anything else you are not telling me? Anything else you know about this place? I'm telling you everything. I have been created to tell you in my as a tour guide for Wookie International. Right. I walk away from the windows. Okay, now we're gonna speak to Grace. I really like Grace too. Hey. Oh, hi, Gavin. You uh want a drink or anything? R A J and Zara are making a signature cocktail. No, thank you. I don't feel like drinking. Is this about Alistair? No, I mean a little... Okay, yes. I... Like, I get... Why everyone's mad at him. He shouldn't lie. That was wrong. I agreed. But I don't understand why he did it. I understand why he felt like he had no choice. And... He must feel so bad. Is that all? Look, I'm not the most social, skilled person in the world. And maybe I'm just misreading the signs. But for a while, I there it felt like... Like... He was opening up to me like he was dropping that bitter shell and showing me his real self. You like him. I do. And now I never had a chance to tell him so. You know what? Let's make a relationship happen. Go tell him how you feel right now. You think so? Look, we are stranded on a mysterious island full of terrifying cultures. And there's an army of blue-skinned warriors gearing up to attack us. If there's ever a time to tell a guy you like how you feel, it's now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're right. Great, Tom, Tom Hall, you got this. Do you think you could maybe come with me for more support? Sure. That's what I'm here for, to support my teammates. <coughs> Alistair. Wait, what are you? What happened? I I accidentally smashed a glass, cut my hand quite unfortunate. Let me see. It's fine. Just leave me be. I can't handle it. You're bleeding badly, Alistair. You, we need to wrap this up. Here, use this leaf. Better? Perhaps a little. Now leave me be. Wait, I wanted to tell you. I said go, Grace. Please, I beg of you. Hey, I think you should we will hear her out.
why why so I can feel even more of a rich so you can love and just how badly I have betrayed you no you big idiot so I can tell you how I feel what you know that you're not the most friendly person I know it's hard for you to open up to connect to people to make friends I have never needed them come on Alistair you know that's not true you have clearly had a hard life and you have built up these walls to protect yourself to keep yourself from getting close to others to keep them from you from hurting you Putting you the way your father did. And what makes you so certain you know me so well. You don't get it, Alistair. I know because I'm actually the same. My mother only cared about one thing. I remember one and everything, no matter what the cost. All my life, I had to deal with pressure bearing down on my soldiers. I get straight A's. I got a photographer's reward. I entered at her company and excused all at all my tax, and yet it was never enough exactly grace i i had no idea we had so much in common neither did i and yet in a weird way i felt like maybe i kind of did from the minute we got off the plane i felt down drowned to you as totally insane as this past week has been the highlight has been the time hold on we sp we have spent together you're smart and interesting and you have a real kindness in you you buried so deep like at the heart of a thousand feet of stone. Great, you you understand me. Of course I do, dummy. Oh, I literally made a relationship happen. I like you. And I like heavens. Whoa. Remarkable. Truly. The plant leaf perhaps is a hyper involvement of a war. It could be that it, that doesn't explain the repair speed of recovery. It's somehow we constructed the cell tissue amazing do you think that maybe it's in relation to the granted by the I'll leave you two alone I think we've you've got it from here Okay. Okay, I think that's the point. Hey, Gavin! How are you holding up, Diego? Oh, yeah. Oh, you know. Ups and downs, peaks and valleys. 
chips on some chips in the kitchen. Gonna get murdered by a bunch of War of the Wings rejects. The usual. At least you got some chips though. Salty and vinegar baby. The best. So, you're gonna, you know, ooh, I'm gonna what? Do I, I seriously need to spell it out, spell it out? Make a move. Ooh, what? Come on, Gavin. I have seen the way you have been acting, flirting, and teasing, staring out with those dumb, dumb, well dumb, poor eyes. So, what are you waiting on? Go get steamy. Get, go get at steamy or rated action. Oh, hell yeah. I, uh, I mean, now? It might be our last night on Earth. Gavin, what better time than now? Oh hell yeah, we're doing this! Oh, okay, now, if you're under the age of 18, you are to click out of this video immediately. I am honestly not gonna be surprised if this video gets age restricted or demonetized. I am honestly not going to be surprised. Okay. So, let's get into it. Okay, we got four different choices. We got Jake. We got Sean. We got Stella. And we got my obvious choice, Clem. I played this game before and I already paid for Quen since she is my obvious choice because I'll make you a few reasons. She's adorable. Face the She's a really adorable redhead. She has that adorable personality. She is just an amazing girl. So, she is my obvious choice for this game. Okay, so, I'm gonna make my first move, well, I already did in the first chapter. But, anyway. Let's get into it. And once again, I will wait. If you are under the age of 18, click off the video. And, and you're making... If you make any comments saying that I'm a pervert or anything, you will be blocked. So anyway, let's go. Hey. Hi, Gavin. Enjoying the chair? Not really. Mostly it's just finding something to do that isn't worrying about the watches. How about you? Well, you know, I was just wondering if maybe you wanted to come with me to my room. I thought you'd never asked! Oh boy! <laughs> okay. This is where the or way the action becomes comes in so uh yeah you you know i have been here before but welcome to my been here before but welcome to my room there's some wine in the cabinet if you want it and you know what forget the wine who needs wine when I have you? Oh boy. I like that shit. I like you more. 
Oh my god. That feels so good. Bomb chicken, bomb bomb. Okay. Yes, I said it. I can't believe this is already the chapter. Okay, so anyway, back to the weeding. Mmm. You are so incredibly, insanely sexy. God damn it! Okay, jokes aside. Oh god damn it! I want you! I need you! I'm yours. Okay, that was an awful cock. Okay. That was so good. I'm still, I'm still catching my breath. I hope you're not too worn out. I might want some more of you later. Can I tell you a secret? Sure. I wanted to tell you the minute I saw you, all the way back on that plane, you walked by me and I felt this spark inside me. I just knew somehow I knew I have to have you. I mean, I'm super hot. <laughs> I am indeed. And reality too. But okay, jokes aside. I've been saying that a lot. So what do you think? Was this worth being stranded on an island full of monsters? For the best I have ever had totally. The, that's high boy. A high boy. But I am pretty sure I can beat it. I just wait until we get back to the main wind and I can take you on a proper date. What? What's wrong? Um, I have something to tell you so. To tell you something I should have told you before, but I'm scared. Whatever it is, you can share with me. Gavin, I'm dying. <sighs> Not the love of my life. What? I have one of them. What two down syndrome is aware of the old insane. This the affecting on we point zero one percent of my population lucky me right it causes traumas fevers respiratory problems seizures and even and eventually death Quan if I I was the first diagnosed when I was four years old. My parents tried everything. They threw every dollar they had into keeping me alive. To keep me alive for most of my childhood. They kept me cut off from the outside world. I didn't get to run on playgrounds or camp in the woods. Or go to any birthday parties. I spent the first 12 years of my life pretty much confined to my house. Then my dad spent the last years of his savings signing me up for 
experimental drug treatment and it worked it actually worked the disease went away I was better I could start to live I really lived it I went to high school got to go to college got into college started looking forward to my future and then no it came back Gavin the first traumas then suddenly fevers a week before I left for this trip I had seizures in the dorm bathroom my diseases is back and if the drugs can't treat it then nothing can I'm going to die Gavin in the next six months maybe soon the uh, Quinn will find here I promise there's no cure Gavin in the real world maybe but you know what else is there isn't it several two tigers talking holograms giant crabs cycle blue people this island is special magical and I'm starting to think we're out of here for a reason I I want to believe that don't doubt it we're here for a reason and my reason is to find a way to cure you thank you I I need to hear that what was that what was what something went by I just saw it outside the window Quinn nowhere is near the ground floor but I swear I saw something. You're Bikaye, motherfuckers. Ah! Gavin, run! Well, hot damn! That was an interesting chapter. Let's look at the things. We confronted Alistair. Of course it was that was in the previous episode. Then we set Alistair up with Grace and Diego told me to make a move. And then I finally made my move with Quinn and things got really hot. So yeah, pretty good chapter today. Especially not only where I got to hook up with Quinn and <coughs> just really happy that I made a relationship happen. And it's sad that Quinn will be dying. But Maybe not. We'll find a cure for her. After all, she is the love of my life. Together, we'll get through everything. We're almost done with book one. Sooner or later, we'll move on to book two. So, anyway... That includes this chapter, and I'll see you in the next one.